Welcome back to yet another 213 Crispy video. And today's video topic is the tuning DLC for Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. Um, that's right. I finally was able to reach level 30. So on the previous video, we went ahead and did some paint jobs on some current cars that I already owned. And I went ahead and moved two of these cars back down to the show garage floor here. And we're going to tinker around with the tuning DLC. Uh, there's a reason why both of these cars are down here. But for the time being, let's turn around and let's see exactly what we unlock when we get the tuning DLC. So the tuning DLC allows you to gain access into the dyno room. Obviously, it is a rolling chassis dyno system setup, so you roll over here. The only thing you get to really tinker with is the actual dyno itself. Now, obviously, I don't have any cars on the dyno, so it's not working, but this is where you would go if you were to have a vehicle that you want to find out the performance of that particular vehicle. So let's go out here. We're going to grab one of our cars. I am intentionally going to start... Let's, uh, you know what, let's do the Corvette first. So we're going to move the car, and we're going to move it into the dyno. Which, it already straps it on there for you. Now this particular car, like I said before, it's extremely loud. And this one is a supercharged version. And according to my car status, it should produce 584 horsepower and 200 or sorry 724 foot pounds of torque supposedly we're gonna find out what this car is going to do for us so once you get strapped down on the dyno then you are ready to go now once it starts going it's gonna give you some information while it warms up goes through its gears I'm gonna stop talking but it, now I, yeah I'm gonna stop because this is gonna get loud done with your dyno run it gives you obviously your curve but there's really no numbers here so you don't really know for sure what's going on but it does tell you what your horsepower is actually giving you so this particular car yes that is no Camino Diga so this particular Corvette it being it's supercharged is 584 horsepower at the correct I mean everything here is correct and it tells you that you have a 0% loss so in a perfect world this car is running 100% to its capacity. You cannot change or tweak anything, unfortunately. So we're going to go ahead and move this car, and I'm going to move it out to the parking garage because I'm done with this one. But we're going to tinker with this El Camino. Um, yeah, Diga, don't make fun of the El Camino. This particular one, um, I don't know if it was an off-road version or not, but when I got it, it had off-road tires and wheels. Like it was, it almost looks like a truck, but I know it's an El Camino. But underneath this hood, this is the reason why I bought the car. It has a twin carbureted V8 performance engine inside it. So the nice thing about this is it's there is aftermarket parts that are available for you to swap out on this particular engine so you can gain some horsepower. Supposedly, we're going to find out. So let's start by getting a baseline. So let's go ahead and move the bone stock El Camino. This was my second or third build. I think it was my third. I don't remember now. But... I've had this car for quite some time, and my earlier video, I went ahead and fully restored the paint, body to condition, like everything on this car is basically in pristine condition besides a couple parts that I just neglected to put new apparently rubber bushings on this car and a new battery. I'll get to that at one point, but for now, it's not going to, it should not affect the performance, but we're going to find out. So we got a battery that's at like 30%. 
Let's go ahead and run a dyno. We're going to find out. This one says it runs 390 horsepower. It needs an engine popping through the hood. Yeah. But you, I don't think you can modify it to do that. So, this particular engine, I'm losing 0.62%. So, a little over half of a percent of my horsepower and my torque loss. Now, I don't know why exactly, but I did discover this whenever I was tinkering around with the the um, the tuning DLC that this particular engine is losing a little bit. So, we're going to go ahead and move this car back outside and we are going to find out what performance parts that we can get for this car. There's no easy way to figure this part out besides knowing the car. So, we're going to go to our tablet. We're going to go to the parts store. Oh, uh, wait a minute. See, now this is something new, too. That I just discovered. So, let's go to the tablet. Before we even go to the parts, let's go back to the home screen. Now, it gives me two more options down here that I didn't even know was here. So, let's go to the power boost shop. Huh. Interesting. So this gives me a bunch of new parts. And it tells you the percentage of what you're going to gain based on the parts that you're putting on. So let's find let's find something that I can work with. So, like, for example, this head is 10% power increase. Um, I don't think I can really work with this engine based on this particular mod. Well, this isn't a mod, but this is the tuning DLC. So, let's get something... I need something with dual carburetor. You know what? I'm thinking let's go get the must the the cobra. Yeah, let's go do that. Let's let's start over. Let's go get the cobra. It'd be a good base plant for some tunes and this opened up a whole new can of worms. And I don't know if I can get this done in time. Uh it's dig it's the tuning DLC is free. It's part of getting to level 30 and it's free with the game. So once you get to level 30 and you unlock the, the final third expansion to your garage it gives you the paint booth so you're able to restore all your paint and everything else that you need to do there but then it also gives you the tuning DLC for the dyno well you have to actually go and download the tuning DLC but it's through, through Steam and it's still free so that's the nice thing even though it is a DLC it is included in the regular package of the car mechanic simulator you just got to get to level 30 to unlock the the dino room basically so the reason why i went back and grabbed the cobra is because i know it's yeah it should but it should have a dual carbureted v8 engine in it so we're going to use this as our baseline test for us to find out how much horsepower we can get out of a car using nothing but the tuning parts. Um, we might have to make this a two segment. We're going to find out. Because I don't know how detailed the parts are going to be. But I want to squeeze every horsepower we can get out of this puppy. Because this thing already rocks. I love this car. So let's go ahead and move this car into the dyno. I grabbed this one because I thought the heads... I could use that was in the parts store I could replace because I know there's two sets of heads in there but for now we're gonna use this big bad boy so you know I'm a Ford fan and this one is like I said it's still carbureted so I know some of the parts were there waiting so let's go ahead and we're gonna run this again this one's saying 306 horsepower which really, that's not that bad for what it is. So 
So I'm losing one horsepower. That's not bad. So let's go ahead. We're going to hop out of the car. And we are going to go ahead and move this car back into the garage on lift B. And we're going to pop the hood. We're going to go in here. And let's go ahead and go back into the parts store. Let's see what kind of body parts we got real quick. So it looks like... Yeah, this is just fancy vendors. Like, basically body line stuff. So we got a new hood. So let's let's uh, let's go ahead and slap on all, on all the new parts. So Typhoon. O O N. Did I spell that right? No. P H O O N. So let's go ahead and type in this, and let's go ahead and purchase all body parts while we're here. So these are exclusive tuning DLC only parts for the Typhoon. And inside here is going to give us our parts. Now, I'm going to slap on a bunch of parts to this guy. Uh, it's a V8 overhead valve is the part that I'm looking for. Let me make sure the cam is still the same. I'm pretty sure it is. Come on, camera, work with me. No. Oh, too far. There it is. So yes, V8 overhead valve. Okay. So we'll go back. We're going to look for a V8 overhead valve. So there's our first performance part, which is a camshaft. We need... Dual carburetors, and I believe it's this one. So I'm going to buy a pair of them, just to be safe. There is no catalytic converter on this car that I remember. I could be wrong, but we're going to add a clutch plate, a pressure plate. We need a set of heads. We're going to need... I don't think the long tube headers are going to work. But I'm going to buy a pair just to be safe. We need a flywheel. The exhaust on this one is different. And I don't think it's on this list of exhaust parts. So I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. But we're going to want a fuel filter. A new fuel pump. We're going to want a new ignition coil. A new distributor. A new cap. A new rotor. And new spark plug wires, but I think those are not the correct kind, but we're going to buy it anyway. And a intake manifold. Uh, this is going to require an entire build. So yeah, this is going to have to be a two-part video. I'm not going to have the time for this. So let's go ahead and buy eight new pistons. But no rings. That's weird. Um, power steering pump, we'll buy, uh, I need a new air filter, we're going to need spark plugs, so let's go ahead and do that, eight parts, I don't need a throttle body, and I cannot put a turbocharger on it, okay. So that should be all the parts that we need to do the performance parts upgrade to this particular vehicle. Um, like I said, I'm not going to have the time. Yeah, I'm not going to have the time to do this today. All of it. So let's go ahead. I'm going to make this a two-part video. So we're going to do... Let's just do some basic stuff first. So let's go ahead and tear apart this. Actually, you know what? I'm going to make this a stripped-down video. So it's going to be a two-part video. We're going to strip this motor down. And then we're going to rebuild it on the next episode. And then we're going to find out what kind of performance parts we actually get, gain-wise, out of our baseline on what that engine would produce for us. So 
so let's go ahead and we'll take the distributor off and then we will take our fuel filter off or coil off and then we're gonna raise this up and we're going to uh, Let me check this part out. Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay. We're going to go ahead and take the transmission out. I had to check to make sure that the muffler was the oddball part, and I was right. So let's go ahead and take out the drive shaft. And then we're going to take the starter out. Take the gearbox out. enough let's go ahead and drain the oil so we'll move to cartlet to B use the equipment that way we get our nice clean oil drained out of there and we will go ahead and move this out of our way oh, I gotta take the exhaust off exhaust off exhaust off lower Move to B, and then we are going to go ahead and pull out that engine. We're going to come over here and mount our engine. Even though this is a motor that I've already completely stripped apart and rebuilt, we're kind of going backwards, unfortunately. But this is the nice thing about being able to tune and tweak. I love th this option. This DLC is fantastic so we're gonna take off the heads now unfortunately there's a bajillion rocker arms on here 16 to be exact but then you also have 16 push rods you gotta pull so there's a little bit to these engines that we do have to restore or to take apart it's kind of the downside of these older engine styles versus the modern ones where you can just take one whole rail off and it's a click of one button. Whatever. Come on hand, work. <laughs> Come on. Might help if I just zoom in. Um, once you go to the toolbox, you go to it has to be level thirty to unlock to unlock it. So you have to be level 30 to get to the tuning DLC, and it's it's the the level 30 is a big jump to unlock because before level 30 used to just be painting, and that was it. So it it allows you to clean the interior of your car. It allows you to restore your body panels that was on the car to get rid of all the rust and then it allows you to paint it. Now it allows you to do all of that, plus the tuning DLC, which unlocks all the body panels and the performance parts to your car. So level 30 is a big step for this game to unlock, which, and I'm kind of glad that they, they make it so you can't get some of these parts like really early in the game because it's a reward once you get like i was stoked about getting to level 30 last night because i knew it was a big step i was happy that the paint booth was unlocked and i even totally i mean i knew about the tuning dlc but i didn't realize that it was this evolved so let's go ahead and take off 
both sets of heads. Well, you don't have to buy it. I would suggest waiting for a while, honestly. The only reason why I say that is because you'll do what I did, and you're going to run out of money in the middle of rebuilding, and then you're going to struggle because you're short on funds, and you can't do your job because you don't have the money to buy it, so then you got to start selling parts to make money to be able to buy parts, and that's the last thing you want to do. I would suggest you wait till you get to, like, level... 15 or 20 basically once you can get to the junkyard and take your time that's where I would suggest you buy your first car I wouldn't do it really early in the game I bought my first car like I think as soon as I unlocked the junkyard I bought my first car and it was that Camaro it was the six cylinder Camaro. Inline six, to be exact. And. I still have it, I think. But I didn't realize that I didn't have the money. I didn't put it all the way back together 100%. And I left the block in the car and I forgot to take it out to repair it. So my block on my car is like 40%, but yet the rest of the car is like 100 and that's the stuff that you learn. That's part of the game. Is That's how you learn. Or at least that's my opinion, anyway. You know what? I might be able to... No, i got ten minutes. I don't think I'm going to be able to get this done. Okay. So let's go ahead, strip this guy on down. And we're about as far apart as I can get with this engine. So... I'm going to leave it like this for the rebuild for the next video, which I will probably do tomorrow morning I don't know I may not have the patience for that but with that being said let's go ahead and we're gonna swap out some parts here because I want to see what this thing looks like with the new parts so does that mean I'm gonna have to repaint this thing again kind of like that actual look um, I think the front bumpers was knit different They're black. Uh, I think the headlight, I think all the lights were different. They don't look much different, honestly. They're just special. Let's see what other parts I have in my inventory, because I honestly forget what all is what. Um, tail lights. Is that it? Rear bumper, rear tail lights. Okay, I guess that's it. Assembly mode. Yeah. See, now I like that look. I like eliminating that red light. I think that looks awesome. Especially black. Black on black like that. And I don't think I'm going to leave the hood like that. I don't think I'm going to repaint it. I like the, the matte finish. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. So, I know I'm not going to have the time to completely do this the way that I want to. So, we're going to do it as a, as a two-part video, like I said before. I went ahead and attached all of the special body panels for the tuning DLC onto our Cobra. 
and I'm thinking it's looking pretty pretty good right now actually you know what let's go ahead and repaint this another color real quick I'm curious I'm on a dark color I'm gonna go with a dark blue so we're gonna move this car and we're gonna go to the dino oh, I don't want dino move this car into the paint shop I just painted it black earlier today but I want to see what this thing looks like with some color on it so let's go ahead we're gonna make a really dark not blue blue I want a really dark 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 blue okay let's first of all get the right color blue Thinking that. Well, there are body kits now. And it's just this car doesn't have any, like, fender replacements and stuff. But the, it's not a body kit. But there are some molded fenders and stuff that's out there that's part of this. So... Um, let's go with Pearl. I still think it's just too much blue. Yeah, let's darken this out. I mean, those black outlines and replacing the red, it's begging for just a tick of color. I think it's... Okay. So now we repainted this. Yes, I know, it's still dark, but... I really like the dark colors on this body style. So let's go ahead and move this back on out. We're gonna go to lift B. Yeah, that looks much better. Cause now we got the black inlay for the hood scoop. We got the black bumpers. I almost wish I could replace the front grille black. That'd be sick. New front headlights. New tail lights that eliminated the red, which I love, and the black bumper. Really, that piece on this body needs to be black, and probably that trunk could probably be black. But I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so this is going to be the update. So, like I said, I'm going to do a two part video. This is only video one. And this one is going to be for the performance DLC replacement parts. So we pulled the motor out. We went ahead and stripped this motor. Actually, no, we have not stripped it all the way down. Let's go ahead and strip it on down some more. Because I got to get to that camshaft. Is there a different crankshaft in there? I don't think there was. Nope. Okay, there's not. Okay. So we're going to call this done. This is going to be part one of the two-part series for the tuning DLC debut for the Tycoon, as they call it. But I'm calling it a Cobra. And we're going to rebuild this tomorrow, and then we're going to do a dyno test and see how much difference we got out of the motor. So we were at, what, 300 and... I don't even remember. I'll have to go back and look at the video. I want to say it was 360 horse. Um, but yeah, so that's the game plan. I'm pretty happy so far with this release. It seems to be fantastic. Um, oh, and Diga, I'll show you the uh, some of those panels I was telling you about. Let me go back. We're going to go into the tablet. We're going to go back to the body panels. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. So...
some of these panels are totally different. So, for example, the bandit. These front lips are going to stick out like crazy. I don't, I've not purchased one, and I don't think I have a bandit floating around. But, like, it's got the shaker hood on the top, but then it's going to have this really aggressive, like, flares that's going to stick out. That's basically your body kit that you're talking about. Um, let me see if I can find it. Yeah, nothing else is really sticking out to me. So let's go, uh, yeah. Let's go and see if I can't find a regular bandit fender for you to show you what I'm talking about. So the regular bandit fenders have a little bit of that mold, but I don't think it's going to be as aggressive as what it is with the other one. And the only way you're going to find out is when you buy a car, throw them on and, and take a look, see what it looks like. But with that, we're going to close this video on out. We're going to do the tuning DLC with the Cobra two-part series. Give me a thumbs up if you like it or a thumbs down if you don't on YouTube. Whichever, doesn't matter to me. I just prefer any feedback. That way I know if you guys are A, watching the video, and B, if you want to steer me in a different direction with either gameplay footage on this game or if you'd like for me to do anything else. Hey, Admiral Booty Call. Uh, just wrapping up. Video one on the tuning DLC. Um, but if you guys have any input, if you want me to play different games, whatever it is, hit me up on Facebook. You can follow me on Facebook, or not Facebook. Why do I keep saying Facebook? Follow me on YouTube. Subscribe on YouTube. That's where all my videos are going to be. Um, you can watch me on Twitch if you're live with me on Twitch like some people are right now. I'm always on Twitch. If I'm playing a game and I'm doing a recording, I'm going to stream it on Twitch 90% of the time. I do plan to do some special video onlys on YouTube, and I do plan on doing some stream onlys on Twitch, just like I did last night. I did five hours on Twitch for leveling up to get to this level 30. Um, I'm on Discord. I am on Twitter. I'm on Twitch, and I'm on YouTube. Hit me up, same name on all platforms, 213 Crispy is the name. You should see the same logo that is on your screen on the top middle, my 213 Crispy logo, that is the same all across the board. If I ever change it, I'll change them on all platforms at the same time. Um, other than that, I am going to leave you all with the first part of this tuning DLC. This will probably be launched... I'll probably put this out tomorrow morning on YouTube. Yeah, I'll probably do that because it's such a new release. I'll I'll, I'll, uh, I'll put some of the other projects that I was going to upload further back. Just for the simple fact that I'm trying to stay up to date with the game. Uh, to give you guys the newest content as quickly as I can. And this way I'm not too far behind. Because I know there's some people out there that have the tuning DLC and they've already done some YouTube videos. But... I wanted to give you guys my take on it. Um, to give you a quick rundown, it says on the patch release that you can install n custom bumpers, lights, hoods, and fenders, and then the mechanical tuning shop allows you to install performance parts into your engine and give your engine better engine performance, and then the dyno in which you can check your car, your car's current power, engine power, Condition is calculated from its condition, tuning parts, and the quality of the parts. So, there you go. That's straight from the website on the tuning DLC through Steam for you to be able to download. It took me about 10 seconds to download that update patch, and it was ridiculously quick. So, uh, I need to update my Discord link and set it to permanent. It should be on my profile page. I'll take a look at that. Thanks for bringing it to my attention, Diga. I'll look. I could have sworn it was already linked on there, and it should be permanent, but it may not be. So um, I'll take a look into that here in a minute. But other than that, make sure you guys go get your friends and tell them to come follow me. I don't care if they don't watch my videos or not. I just need to get 
50 followers as quickly as I can. I'm up to 35 thanks to some people last night that were more than willing to go from one stream over here to give me a quick follow, which I love. I gave you guys two thumbs up for that. I appreciate it. Especially you, Admiral Booty Call. You are one of them. So go get your friends. Get them over here. Get them to hit the follow button so I get to become affiliated as quickly as I can because I would appreciate it. Uh, okay. It expired. Then I'll take a look at it and then we'll go from there. Uh, other than that, I gotta get going because my real life work is waiting for me. I start work in about an hour, so I gotta get go get cleaned up, get changed over, go get my equipment and tools and laptop and all that fun stuff and get my work van and get moving. So I appreciate your guys' support. Thank you guys very much. Have a great day, and I will see you tomorrow.